Johnson C. Smith University touts itself as Charlotte's premier independent university. The 2012 Democratic National Convention comes to the Queen City in September, and Johnson C. Smith University's planned participation around it virtually assures the 145-year-old private co-ed university a premier spot on a greatly expanded national and even global stage. Johnson C. Smith University recently held a joint press conference with the Congressional Black Caucus Political Education and Leadership Institute to announce a major project that targets young minds. Before a standing room only audience of media, students, community leaders, and other interested parties, JCSU and the CBC Institute detailed the project called You Future, a summit for innovative young thinkers. The project headliner is actress and political activist, Alfre Woodard. It's indeed an honor as well as a privilege for me to bring forward to you, uh, Alfre Woodard. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm always going to have Malcolm introduce me because he just gave me another Oscar nomination. <laughs> and I want to thank you for that. <laughs> but oh my goodness, it's such a great morning. Good, good morning, everybody. I was excited to come here because we have great news to announce. But once I see all the young people here, I can't tell you how charged up I am about what's going to happen on the 4th of September. I am absolutely delighted to join the CBC Institute along with their partners Johnson C. Smith University to announce their latest effort to encourage the next generation into the political process and to engage citizens. Departing from the traditional town hall format in September, we are holding You Future, a cyber summit for innovative thinkers. That's y'all. I am so excited, everybody's invited, but I'm so excited because this effort will focus on young people. Now, of course we cannot tear you away from your technology, so we are saying bring it, bring it with you. We want the students to bring their smartphones, their tablets of every sort, and in the gymnasium here at Johnson C. Smith University, they will be tweeting, texting, tumbling, what else do you do? <laughs> you will be, we will be live streaming about what's on their minds. What are the challenges they face uh, collectively and individually as we move forward in the 21st century? And this dialogue will be projected onto screens that will hang around the gym and their queries will be answered by a most capable panel of resource people that will include um, Congressman Watt, the uh, the treasure Congressman Watt, along with some of his colleagues, business leaders, um, innovators in um, uh, environment, and social activists as well as educators. And we will have a member or two of the administration there as well. But because techno literacy is an ever increasing component of 21st century life, we are enlisting uh, the support of, of a Silicon Valley innovator to come and kick off this, this summit and to fire up the students' imaginations about all of the possibilities. How our students innovate and use technology to compete in global markets, whether they are bakers or bankers, how they use technology to create community across borders, across time zones, across cultures, whether they are social scientists or soccer fans, will determine their footing upon the world's playing field. And we want to ensure them a great position on that playing field. And also to keep the American brand aloft as we move forward into this next century. We will have 20 plus college students in teams full of spirit over in the gymnasium. We will have the people of Charlotte and visitors filling the bleachers and the American community will log on and give it the whole feel of a sporting event. And as you said, Hill Harper and Journey Smollett will join me and facilitate what we think will be a, a, a discourse and a, a 
debate just a buzz with vitality. We expect to, st to send the students back to their campuses and into their communities energized about the political process, energized about the coming election, and energized in general about the future. I like to say, you future, because we can envision you in it. So yes, the Congressional Black Caucus Institute and their partners, Johnson C. Smith University, is busy seeding the next generation of innovators and leaders. And we expect to see you all and all of you press, we expect to see you in September. Thanks a bunch. In addition to the JCSU partnership with the Congressional Black Caucus Institute, numerous other area colleges and universities will be included in the project. All the regional college, uh, UNCC, Queens, uh, Johnson & Wales, Central Piedmont Community College, uh, okay. uh, Livingston College, Benedict, Bennett Allen University, Charlotte School of Law, Clafton University, Clinton Junior College, Denmark Technical College, Davidson College, Gardner and Webb, Johnson and Wales, Livingstone, Morris, Payne College, Queens University of Charlotte, South Carolina State University, UNC Charlotte, Voorhees, Wingate, and Winthrop University. We are so excited about the number of other partnership opportunities that the university is engaged in. We're working closely with the DNC to identify student volunteers, uh, internship opportunities for our students, faculty, and staff, as those, those who live in the West Charlotte community to be involved and engaged by volunteering for DNC-related activities. We'll be partnering with Political 365, which is a web-based um, political uh, organization uh, with former Congressman Kendrick Meeks will be a part of that. We'll be partnering with them during the DNC. We'll be working with the National Democratic Institute uh, a group of foreign leaders and foreign ambassadors who will be coming to Charlotte to uh, take a look at the Democratic National Convention and we'll be working with them, hosting them as well. Black Pages USA, a minority business organization focusing on minority business development will be here working with the university and we do have a special partnership relationship with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department making sure that the city is safe and secure. We're doing our part here at Johnson C. Smith University to make sure that when the international community comes to Charlotte and see what we're doing, that we are part of the equation in making sure that Charlotte, North Carolina puts its best foot forward and we're ready for the opportunities, our faculty, our staff, our students, and our administrators. JCSU President Dr. Ron Carter projects the event success. In September, there will be thousands of people celebrating, but we already have victory on our mind. So let's go celebrate the This is Ken Cruz reporting from the campus of Johnson C. Smith University in Charlotte, North Carolina.